The nuclear industry offers a diverse range of exciting and impactful career opportunities, from power generation to medical applications and cutting-edge research. Whether you're fascinated by physics, engineering, or guns, there's a place for you in the nuclear industry. Let's take a look at some of the careers and their educational requirements. First up, we have the most obvious, a nuclear engineer. A nuclear engineer researches and develops projects or addresses problems concerning the release, control, and use of nuclear energy and nuclear waste disposal. You need at least a bachelor's degree in nuclear engineering or related engineering field. Licensure is not required for entry-level nuclear engineer positions, however, experienced engineers may obtain a professional engineering license, which also allows them to oversee the work of other engineers, sign off on projects, and provide services directly to the public. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median annual wage for a nuclear engineer was $125,000 in May 2023. Next up, we have nuclear power reactor operators. In this role, you operate or control nuclear reactors by moving control rods, starting and stopping equipment, monitor and adjust controls, and record data and logs. You also are in charge of implementing emergency procedures when needed and responding to abnormalities, determine cause, and recommend corrective action. The educational requirements consist of a high school diploma or equivalent combined with extensive on-the-job training, which may include a combination of classroom and hands-on training and licensing. Nuclear power reactor operators usually start working as equipment operators or auxiliary operations, helping more experienced workers operate and maintain the equipment while learning the basics of how to operate the power plant. Along with this extensive on-the-job training, nuclear power plant operators typically receive formal technical training to prepare for the license exam from the NRC. Once licensed, Operators are authorized to control equipment that affects the power of the reactor in a nuclear power plant. Operators continue frequent on-site training, which familiarizes them with new monitoring systems that provide operators better real-time information regarding the plant. The median annual wage, according to the USBLS, is $120,000 a year. Next, let's take a look at what it takes to become a security guard at a nuclear power plant. When Entergy was hiring for a security role, they were looking for candidates who were at least 21 years old, held a high school diploma or GED, and had a valid driver's license. Beyond these basics, you'd need to pass a series of tests under their security training and qualifications plan and keep your weapons qualifications up to date. You'd also have to meet NRC psychological testing standards and satisfy all nuclear regulatory requirements for unescorted access. Plus, a basic understanding of how the plan operates is essential. And if you brought along experience from the military, law enforcement, or other security fields, that would definitely be a bonus. Glassdoor lists the average income from this role anywhere from $53,000 a year to $89,000 a year. These are just a few of many roles in the nuclear field you can work towards. Are there any roles you are specifically curious about? Let us know in the comments.